Hey there, and welcome to this Pro Flows Quick Tip. I am Cameron, and in this short lesson, I'm going to expand on what I talked about in a previous video, which is camera shake. In the previous video, if you haven't seen it yet, I talk about how to add camera shake to footage and to typography. Well, what if we want to add a little bit of camera shake to a graphics, to our graphics, and we have a lot of layers here. How do we do that? Well, it's really simple. It's just like I showed in a previous video. It just has to deal with an adjustment layer and the distort transform effect. So what we're gonna do is we're going to add a new adjustment layer and we're going to apply an effect which is distort transform to this adjustment layer. We're going to alter option click on position. We're gonna type in wiggle and we're gonna do something like three and 70. And we're also going to scale up our transform just a little bit so we can hide some of these edges that we now see. So maybe we'll try 105. And we're just gonna see if everything's kind of covered. I can see a little bit there on the edge, so maybe 108. And let's preview this and see how it looks. And there we go, there is our preview. And you can see how much more interesting this tunnel is now with just that little bit of camera shake. It makes it look a little bit more imperfect, a little bit more organic. It looks kind of like we're flying through like maybe like an old Star Wars uh, video tunnel screen graphic kind of thing. You get my point. You can play around with the wiggle expression here. You can make it look totally different, but that is an interesting way to add the transform property to an adjustment layer to make your graphics come alive. If you liked this video, I do recommend that you check out ProFlows Plus for more exciting videos on techniques, trends, and methods in motion design.